Rachel. So I've been to prom before and there's a few things that I wish I knew at my prom that would have saved a lot of issues. So now I'm going to pass on some life hacks to you that I wish I knew during my prom. Yeah. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it and comment down below which life hack was your favorite. Okay, yeah. So let's get on with the video. Yeah, the video consists of me sitting here so I may have said let's get on over there but I'm actually back here now to talk about the video. Firstly, if you have nobody there to help you zip up your dress, a life hack for that would be to take a ribbon and cut off about two feet of it, and then take that ribbon and thread it through the hole of your zipper. Then when you put the dress on, you can grab the ribbon through the back and then you can pull it up by yourself and then that'll zip it up for you. You no longer have to have the problem where there's nobody there to help you zip up your dress. Likewise, if you're alone and you have nobody there to help you put on your bracelet, we all know how difficult it could be to put on a bracelet by yourself. So a trick for that would be to take a paper clip, bend it upside down, then put it through the little hole on the bracelet, then just hold it with that hand, wrap it around, and then you put the bracelet on like that. Okay, this one's a big key. If you shaved your legs for prom and you got razor burn, the way to get rid of that pretty quickly is to take two aspirin tablets. I put them into a small glass of water until the tablets fully dissolve. They dissolve pretty quickly. Then take a cotton ball and dip it into the dissolved aspirin water and then rub that all over your razor burn. Then by the time you wake up, or like four hours later, your razor burn's gonna be gone. This next life hack is more if you have like an updo and you wanna get rid of your baby hairs, but if you use a brush, you're gonna ruin your updo. If you use an eyebrow brush, it's gonna ruin your updo. If you spray hairspray in your hands and go like this, you're gonna have so much hair spraying your hair, it's gonna look so shiny and you're not gonna want it to look like that. So, a trick for that would be take an old fan brush, you can get one for like a literal dollar, and then spray some hairspray on it, then use that to get rid of all the wispies and all the baby hairs. This next one is more for when you're getting your makeup done for prom. Would you hand up, please? Oh, and also, thank you Piano Tiles 2 for partnering with me for this video. And Piano Tiles 2 is actually the world's most popular game, and to play, all you need to do is tap on the black tiles while listening to fun music. I'm playing The River Flows in You by Yuruma now, but you have to make sure to not touch the white keys. So download Piano Tiles 2, I'll have the link in the description box. But the songs and levels get harder as you play, and the more levels you play, the more coins you get to a lot more songs! Down your makeup. And you look in the mirror and you say, Things. But in reality, you're actually really upset because you just made your face all cakey. Well, don't be too upset because there's a really quick fix to that. Just take a small amount of a super lightweight moisturizer and dab it on the cakey area with your ring finger. And it won't remove your highlight or contour or anything, it's literally just gonna blend the cake. Another life hack to know if shoes are comfortable or not without having to try them on is solely based on the distance between the heel and the foot part. If it's short, like this size heel, then it's not gonna be comfortable. But if it's a longer distance like this one, then it'll be comfortable. See the difference? Because your feet, naturally, the most they can really even curve is like that. Even if you're on your tippy toes, you can only really bend like this much. So you want your shoes to only bend that much too. <laughs> yeah, I'm only wearing one side. This next one's gonna save you when you go to prom and about six people in a row all spill their soda on your shoes. Without fail. Gonna happen. To prevent your shoes from getting completely destroyed by the end of your prom night, a trick for this would be to take your shoes and a candle, make sure it's a white candle, and then rub the white candle on your shoe, on any part of the shoe that is revealed to the public. Then take a blow dryer and just blow over that area to heat it up. Now if they pour soda on it, your shoes won't get fully destroyed. The only thing that's gonna get messed up is how sticky your foot's gonna feel. Ugh. Sticky is like the worst thing ever. What? That? being damp and having crumbs in your bed. This next one is for if you go to the mirror on prom day and you look and you see you have a giant pimple on your face. Well, a life hack for that would be to take some Listerine, put a Q-tip in it, and then just put it on your pimple, and then a few minutes later, the pimple's pretty much gonna be gone. Smile. So since you'll be running around and standing in front of professional lights to get all your pre-prom pictures done, 
probably gonna get super sweaty. And then your upper lip's gonna get super sweaty. Then your head's gonna get super sweaty. And then your makeup's gonna come off. Yeah, it's a real issue. A life hack for this would be to find an organic antiperspirant deodorant, which is basically a deodorant that makes you not sweat. So just dab a little bit of that on your upper lip or your forehead or anywhere that you sweat a lot before you put on your makeup, then put your makeup on over that, and you won't get shiny and sweaty and your makeup won't go everywhere. But before you do this, make sure to test it out on your wrist to make sure that you're not allergic to it, otherwise it's going to cause a whole different set of problems that you don't want to have on prom day. And the last life hack that I have for you is if you're wearing a strapless prom dress and a strapless bra, and you don't want your dress to like shift everywhere, you know what I mean, we're like... Halfway through the night, your dress will be, the front of your dress will be over here. Just take some safety pins and safety pin your bra to the dress on the inside to make sure no one sees it. But if you have a dress that's super top heavy and it has a bunch of gems over here, don't do that because then stuff is going to show that you don't want to show because it'll fall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't see my previous two videos, click those down below and subscribe right over there if you're not subscribed already. Okay, I love you so much. Bye!